Up next, the Rockets take it on the Lakers. For the Houston Rockets, losing seven out of their last ten games has left a bad taste in their mouths. But tonight represents a new beginning, and they want a taste of victory once again. Lakers, Rockets, up next. Hello and welcome to Saturday Night with the NBA on 2K Sports. An exciting game on the way. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Allie LaForce. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for LeBron James. And when you look at his offensive output over the past few years, it seems like other teams have figured him out and have his number now. He's having to put in a lot more effort on the offensive end, but without producing nearly the same results. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. Smith plays the four with Shingoon at the five. Green and Brooks on the perimeter, and his Van Vliet in at the one. And for the Lakers, D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. LeBron and Vanderbilt are the three and four. And it's Davis in at the center, locking down the middle. Still very early in the regular season. But Grant, what's the most important thing coaches are working on at this stage? You know, at this point, it's all about really just getting your rotation set. Finding which guys work best together. You know, you have to figure out how to maximize the talent you have. So the Lakers win the tip. Here's Russell. Pass to Davis. Brooks against James. All alone. And he makes it. You know, really impossible to know what James is thinking in advance. I mean, especially in these sets. And here is Green. Off target from the wing. Here's Reeves. Davis down low. Working on Chengu. Shoots a fadeaway. Tries again. And the layup is good by James. James has got his second basket of the game. And that's just LeBron being physical, explosive, and effective, earning an extra possession for his team. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Pass to Smith. Over Vanderbilt. That one rolls around and rims out. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Well, Clark, we often note the offensive impact from Davis. But he also gets it done on the other end of the floor. He is the best defender in the league in my mind when you look at all the aspects of playing defense. He's a multiple block shot champ. His anticipation and timing at the defensive end. Um, top shot. The shot by James. No good. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. For Los Angeles, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Outside Russell. Pass to James. With the drive. And slam dunked by James. And LeBron is a force rolling to the rim. When he's driving inside, he's looking for the punch. Now Van Vliet, averaging around six a game. No good from outside. You know, that's a quick 0 for 4 now. At what point do you call a timeout and reset? Outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Shingoon. Davis can't hit. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. Van Vliet finds Brooks. Green against James. Outside, Green. Clock at six. Brooks. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. Pass to Davis. 
Davis drawing the double team. Back to Reeves. And here's Vanderbilt from the arc. It's rebounded by Houston. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Van Vliet outside. Back to Green. Outside for Brooks. The three ball. The shot that time not on target. For Los Angeles, they've gone just three for seven here at the start. Vanderbilt, a screen on Van Vliet. Russell, the pass to Vanderbilt. Blocked! Outstanding defensive awareness that time from Smith Jr. Excellent job wiping that shot away. There's a double team with Vanderbilt. Pass to Van Vliet. Three-pointer. Sinks the tray. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. And as a rule of thumb, the road can really test your team's depth. But they all stepped up and collectively produced a lot of points. And, you know, the guys on the bench have great confidence in themselves. And when their name was called, they were ready to compete and contribute. Houston has gone one of four from deep. Pass to Shangun. 143 left to play in the first quarter. And lead on the wing. Beyond the arc. Another three from Houston. And this is what Van Vliet is known for. A volume three-point gunner who shoots it well. And the Lakers call time here. It's all Lakers. here on your Lakers high squad. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Christian Wood is checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for LeBron. Vincent's checked in for Reeves. And it's Dinwiddie in for Russell. And a new group getting ready for the Rockets. Steven Adams checked in for Shangun. Eason comes in for Smith. Thompson, he's checked in for Brooks. And Holiday subbed in for Van Vliet. The pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Thompson, averaging around five points a game. Count that one. You see there, Thompson does a good job of sneaking into the lane and finishing. Dinwiddie against Holiday. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And let's take a look at the top rookie rebounders. Amin Thompson, fourth. Rebounding is a skill that can easily translate into the pro game. He had a reputation for being good on the boards, and he has certainly delivered on that. Yeah, rebounding always transfers and translates to the next level. He's been a bull in the china shop, out working, out hustling guys, and he's really got terrific instincts to the basketball. Shangun checked in for Houston. Bullock comes in for Green. Well, as we've seen throughout the history of the Lakers, Clark, it's a big free agent and trade destination. Well, I think part of it is the weather attraction. I mean, guys love playing where the weather is always nice, not to mention to be with a team whose goal is to win championships. Now here's Shangun. They set a pick. Thompson passes to Bullock. Another three from Houston. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. 34 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to Dinwiddie. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first. Now Wood. Defended by Eason. And Wood with the stuff. Boy, Wood is an absolute low coming down the lane. It's really hard to stop him coming out of the pick and roll. And here's Thompson for three. Another three from Houston. Three point. 11 seconds left in the opening quarter. Here's Dinwiddie. He takes it in. Banked it in off the glass. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. The Rockets on top. They're up by two. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter.
got to get going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Rockets. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And, and another thing, they found the open man. Really playing unselfish basketball, moving the ball around there on the perimeter. LeBron and Achimura are the forwards. Then it's Gabe Vincent. Then there's Christian Wood. And it's Denwitty in a point. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Here's Vincent. Pass to Denwitty. James outside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Nick Clark, what's most amazing about LeBron James, how remarkable he is playing his age. PA, there's a lot of things that are really incredible about LeBron, but that's one of the most incredible, his high level of play at his advanced age. And he's still playing with great athleticism. The credit to the work he's put in and his giftedness. Whitmore's checked in for the Rockets. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. And it's Whitmore missing. The Lakers trail. Now here's Dinwiddie. Right now averaging five and a half a game. James finds Wood. Back to James. Six on the shot clock. That one's good from the corner. James has got nine points. Really a smart look that time by Wood, giving the ball up to his wide open teammate. Holiday with the ball. Yet to see a basket. Pass to Shangun. Stolen by Dinwiddie. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here's Vincent. James inside. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. To the inside. Out to Thompson. Here's Whitmore. Takes one from 10 feet, connects, the jumper drops. Whitmore's got his first basket. Here's James. He's got nine. Pass to Wood. Hachimura outside. Wood with it. James deciding where to go with it. Over Whitmore, his five to shoot. Side. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. Vanderbilt's checked in for Los Angeles. Russell comes in for Vincent. Smith, he's checked in for Houston. Van Vliet comes in for Holiday. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvin Ham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. Outside Russell. Dinwiddie, right side. Vanderbilt against Smith. Here's Dinwiddie. Sinks that one from the post. Dinwiddie's got six. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. And here's Russell. No made baskets yet. Wood passes to Russell. To the middle. Here's Vanderbilt. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. 
And it's a three-point Los Angeles lead. Making the right choice there. I mean, Russell, this is what scouts like about him. His feel, that intuitive feel for the game. Picked by Smith. Thompson passes to Smith. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Smith's got his first points of the night. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. The Lakers call timeout. Go for the Rockets. Steven Adams checked in for Shangun. Brooks comes in for Eason. And Green is subbed in for Thompson. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. Their defense is only allowed four points in the quarter. Now here's Vanderbilt. Pass to James. Wood with the screen. Unable to get that one. Good work defensively by Brooks. The Rockets have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Van Vliet finds Green. The flush, Jalen Green. Jalen Green has some serious hop. Yes, he does. Now Dinwiddie. He has six. Outside Russell. This one for three. That shot missing. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. The open shot, Van Vliet. Wood grabs the board. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. Pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Russell. Wood with the screen. Russell into the lane. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It goes on Fred Van Vliet. So going to the free throw line is Russell. Off a quick dribble drive. And some changes here for the Lakers. Davis, he's checked in for Christian Wood. Hachimura comes in for LeBron. And Reeves is subbed in for Dinwiddie. That one falls, so he hits both of them. For Houston, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Now here's Van Vliet. He has six. Brooks with it. Van Vliet outside. Shot clock at six. And the three off target. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards is really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other one. Well, I tell you, that was double duty right there. He influenced the shot and then got back and cleaned the glass. Outside, green. Got it off in time. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! What an ending to the first half. The buzzer beating three to take the lead. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Rockets on top, leading by just two. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. Welcome to halftime, folks. Before we talk about the game, let's check out who won Player of the Month in both the East and West. The selection for the Western Conference, Luka Doncic. This isn't the first, and it will not be the last one of these awards for Luka Doncic, a master at giving his own shot, as well as creating for others, simply unstoppable on offense. Also, a tremendous rebound in his position. And taking a look back now at the first half of play, the Lakers find themselves in a tight one. Well, I like what they're doing. Play to your strengths. They're getting high percentage looks inside because they're not settling. Yeah, they found a soft spot in that defense, I'm telling you. They keep putting the ball inside. No need to change what's working. And that is gonna do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company.
ahead as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. You gotta like what we're seeing from LeBron James. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Kick it off the second half. Here's Ime Adoka's five. Brooks and Smith make up the two forwards. And Fleet and Green man the backcourt. And it's Shangoon in at the pivot spot, adding the middle. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Defensive foul, Jabari Smith. In many ways, Anthony Davis is the epitome of a two-way threat. He can be just dominating on both sides of the ball with his physicality. Now here's Van Vliet. Here's Shengun. Here's Green. Oh, Green with a strong take. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. And lead against Russell. Pass to Reeves. Over Green. Rockets with a rebound. About a minute played here in the second half. Smith outside. Brooks, the pass to Shangun. Shoots over Davis. Shangun, no good. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. Here's Reeves. Green covering. Vanderbilt with a screen. Here's Reeves. Davis finds James. Outside Russell. The shot's good on the assist by James. Russell's got five points. You know, with good form, a quick release, and a nice feel, Russell's comfortable in catch-and-shoot situations. Outside, Green. Here's Shangun. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. One for four in the second half. Just trying to get into a rhythm. There's the block. Double team on Van Vliet. Pass to Shangun from behind the arc. And another miss by Houston. And I'm sure this isn't how they drew it up at the half. Only one for five here in the third quarter. Russell against Van Vliet. And here's Russell. He's got five. The three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. The former second overall pick has really worked on his passing. That was an outstanding find by Russell. Houston calls timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. change here. Denwitty's checked in. And the change for the Rockets. Eason's checked in. Van Vliet against Russell. Pass to Green. And here is Shangun. Smith outside. Six to shoot. Puts up a three. He drops it from range. Smith's got five. Jabari Smith went top three in the draft for his shooting. And boy, is that jumper pretty. Now James. Nine points in the game. Left side, Davis. Now here's Russell. Pass to James. And it's blocked. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Here's Shangun. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Shangun's got his first points of the game. Shangun, a force in the lane. That's where he does most of his damage. 
Green against Dinwiddie. Outside Vanderbilt. Now Russell. Vanderbilt, a screen on Van Vliet. Outside for Davis. Here's James. Rockets with a rebound. Jangoon's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Van Vliet, the pass to Eason. Back to Van Vliet. And he banks in the layup. Van Vliet's got his third basket on the night right there. Well, Van Vliet likes to work up close and personal at the basket. Always ready to take it inside. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Houston making some changes. Steven Adams comes in for Shangoon. And it's Thompson in for Smith. For Los Angeles, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Clark, this kid has no fear at all. Tari Eason has that edge. Yeah, you love to see it. You like to see guys with his athleticism and skill play with an edge, a competitive edge. I'm really excited to see how he continues to grow and develop as a player. It took six attempts, but he finally hits a shot. Van Vliet outside. A minute 20 left to play in the third quarter here. Thompson shot is off. Los Angeles has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And Davis with the basket. On the assist by Dinwiddie. Davis has got five points now in the quarter. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. Two-point game. Outside, Green. Stolen by Russell. And it's the Lakers on the break. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got seven. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Really a great job in this one. Forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined. Making ball handlers very uncomfortable. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition in the offensive glass. Now, here is James. He's got 11. And Davis slams it home. Good positioning that time from AD. Working the pick and roll beautifully. Here's Adams. They need this. And he sinks the layup. Woo. Just selling the defense on the pump fake. The Lakers in the lead. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the court. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. Thompson passes to Van Vliet. Off target from three-point range. James outside. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. That falls. Nice speed that time from James. James has got four assists now tonight. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team back after this. Los Angeles has gone three of six from deep so far. LeBron and Achimura are the forwards. Then there's Christian Wood. Then it's Gabe Vincent. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now here's Wood. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Thompson against Achimura. Here's Shangoon. Up and in on the layup. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. And for the Lakers, they're shooting a solid 47%. Dinwiddie against Holiday. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. And some of the best high flyers in the NBA. 
some of this year's contenders for the dunk contest. And when you look at the names on that list, you just know that contest has a chance to be special. And you look at Green, and I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. He is for sure, but this list is just packed with real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. So that's how things are currently looking for the dunk contest. But of course, we'll update you with the latest news as we receive it. And as this lineup starts to take shape, this event is only getting more and more exciting. Now here's Holiday. Here's Thompson. Wood grabs the board. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute played. James inside, defended by Shingun. The shot by James, no good. The Rockets trail. Outside Holiday, on the wing Thompson. Hook loose, stolen by Dinwiddie. Fast break, here come the Lakers. LeBron James with the flush. Never gets old seeing LeBron explode off the floor like that. The Rockets shooting the ball at 46% for the floor. On the wing, Thompson. Yeah, that one's good. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. The Lakers with the ball. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Knocked away. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Dinwiddie passes to Wood. Thompson outside. From 10 feet away. No good. A bit long that time. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. And Wood with the stuff. That's an example of a guy who has really figured out his game. Wood imposing his will at the rim. And the Rockets call time here. Let's go crazy. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Christian Wood. Vanderbilt comes in for Achimura. Reeves is checked in for Vincent. And Russell is subbed in for Dinwiddie. And the Rockets will go for a different look here. Smith, he's checked in for Eason. Dylan Brooks comes in for Tate. Jalen Green, he's checked in for Thompson. And Van Vliet is subbed in for Holiday. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened to Ime Yudoka's huddle. And Coach challenged the team, asking them to bring the fight inside, telling them to play with pride, telling the team, you're getting bullied near the hoop. Let's see if it works, guys. Appreciate the report, Allie. Here's James. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago, up top, Davis. Shot clock at five. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Oh, LeBron buries the three. They keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the league. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. Smith outside. Inside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Shingoon is a hard player to get a handle on. Pretty unpredictable, which makes it hard to guard without fouling. That's the line for the Rockets. Alperin Shingoon. And the first one at the line is good. Free throws good from Shingun. The thing that stands out about Shingun is how crafty he is in the post. Excellent footwork and a lot of moves. Now here's Russell. There's a screen. Takes the three. Smith with the rebound. The Rockets have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Van Vliet. It falls. Five for 11 in the game. I mean, you have to love the intensity Van Vliet plays with in these situations. He's always ready to meet a challenge. Here's James. 
Davis with the screen on Brooks. Stolen by Van Vliet. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth. Smith with a screen on Russell. Three-pointer Van Vliet. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got a six rebound on the night. Now, here is James. Russell pass to Davis. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got his fourth assist with that last one. The Rockets have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Van Vliet with it. Pass to Green. Here's Smith. Van Vliet outside. Drops in the three. And we've seen him do it in finals games. Van Vliet loves the big spot, but wants to be that guy. Now, here is James. Expect this from LeBron James, guys. I mean, when his team needs a bucket, he rises to the occasion. Timeout called. Houston. They're down by five. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. against Van Vliet. Pass to Brooks. The three. Count it. And he's brought them within two points now. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. James against Brooks. 32 seconds left to play in the fourth. Russell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. And all Russell has to do is push out the distractions and focus on the task at hand. He can do this. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. get the second one. And that makes it a three-point lead. If you're a point guard like Russell, you handle the ball a lot in close games, so you better knock down your free throw. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. They're behind by three. 29 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Van Vliet. He's guarded closely. Pass to Green. Back to Van Vliet. And here is Green. Shangun, a screen on Russell. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Yeah, you, know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Exactly. You got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Well, Davis can't get in his own head here. Just breathe and do your best. And he's able to hit the second one. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Three-pointer, Brooks. They get it again. So it's a narrow victory for the Lakers. Rolling it out for the W. 
This one was in the balance right until the final second. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. LeBron, you got that perimeter shot falling as the game wore on. How'd you dial it in? Uh, I mean, I work on my shot every day. I work on my game every day, so it doesn't matter if I miss uh, all of them in the first, second, third. I still believe that I'm going to make the next one. All that hard work really paid off late. Congratulations. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark.